I'd like us to just pray for the nation of Ghana until today is the Independence Day of Ghana. Let's just bless that country. Let's go ahead and just open our mouth and just pray for Ghana. Bless the nation of Ghana. That the goodness of the Lord will rest upon that nation. That the country of Ghana will continue to prosper even in this year of prosperity. That the people of that land should continue to be instruments of God all across the globe. That Ghana will be a reference point in Africa and all across the world. Let's bless the nation of Ghana. That peace will be in Ghana and between Ghana and the neighbors. Father, we thank you because your blessing is resting upon the nation of Ghana. Even as the nation ages, we decree the blessing of the Lord upon Ghana. We decree that there be prosperity on ending upon that nation. La cozo bratete le cozo bradia, and upon the cities there that you expand that nation. And the, and, the, and the reach of that nation in the name of Jesus Christ at all. That celebration will never end in that nation. That Lord, Ghana will become Lord, known Lord, for good things and for great things. Let it be a wonder things. across the world. Let it be a wonder 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 across the world. My God, increase God on every bless side. Ghana. God bless Ghanaians. Both those in the nation itself and those in the diaspora. In the name of Jesus, let there be peace in Ghana. Let there be prosperity in Ghana. Raise up for yourself mighty men and women that you can use. Exemplary characters for the body of Christ globally. In the political and in the, in the spiritual and in all ramifications. We pray for the Ghana community, even in Ukraine, in the Ghana Frankis in particular. There will be no sorrow, there will be no money, there will be no death. There will be no loss of life. In the name of Jesus. Lord, the grace of Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, Father, I just want to thank you for your word, which is about to come forth, that you would speak and minister to us. You said to receive the engrafted word with meekness, that every pride and every self will disappear. And Lord, I yield my very self also, that Lord, you flow through me to minister life to your children. Truths that can change them, that can help them to become better individuals. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please look for a Ghanaian close to you and then congratulate them. Amen. Hallelujah. Happy Independence Day to all of them. Praise the Lord. Look for a Ghanaian. Look for a Ghanaian. Love on them. Praise the Lord. Amen. Happy Independence Day to all Ghanaians. We love you. Amen. And when you've done that, you can have your seat. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Find somebody also close to you, even while you're seated, and give them a nice compliment. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Give them a nice compliment. Amen. Find someone and compliment. Amen. Praise the Lord. You guys are looking wonderful and nice. Amen. And pretty. Amen. Hallelujah. Nice to see you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you happy? Amen. If it's Pastor Gibson, say, Are you happy? I'm happy God has blessed. If it's Pastor Gibson, I didn't say Pastor. Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't play. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't start what we can't finish. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. How are you doing? Are you enjoying the month of March? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. It has just begun and we have a long way to go. And um, God said to us that 2019 is a year of prosperity. Amen. Amen. How many are seeing advancements and shifts and progress? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, today we want to even hasten that up. Amen. We want to quicken it with what God has given us. Amen. Please allow me, I want to teach quickly on what I titled the successful businessman. Amen. Amen. The what? The successful, the successful businessman. Amen. The what? The successful Hallelujah. Um, like you 
probably should be already used to if you've been in this ministry a while. March is usually our month um, where we have our business seminar. Amen. So come 23rd of March, Saturday, 6 p.m. as usual, we'll be having our business seminar. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I think you're not excited about it. Amen. We can always cancel it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our business seminar. Amen. It promises to be um, exciting like the other ones that we've had over the last um, two to three years. Praise the Lord. Successfully promises to be exciting. But so that on that day when, the, when we start, you don't look too clumsy. It's important that we set you on the pace already by having something you can feed on. Praise the Lord. The successful what? The successful businessman. God said March is a month of miracles, signs, and what? Miracles, signs, and wonders. Miracles, signs, and wonders. And um, miracles have to be walked. You have to walk them out. That's why the Bible talks in the book of First Corinthians, the twelfth chapter, of the walking of miracles. Amen. And so, um, prosperity which we seek is a miracle. Hallelujah. It has to be worked out. And so, um, you're going to be receiving teachings today that will help you essentially to, um, to work out your prosperity in this wonderful month. Amen. And in the year and in the years to come. Hallelujah. The successful businessman. Praise the Lord. Special appreciation to every person here present, but even more so, Pastor Dr. Gibson. Hallelujah. Pastor Emmanuel, Pastor Phoebe, and Pastor Isaiah, uh, who will be here any moment soon. Amen. Let's begin from um, Proverbs 22, verse 29. Proverbs 22, verse 29. Proverbs 22, verse 29. I'll be taking at least 12 important points um, to becoming a successful businessman. Amen. Twelve important points to becoming a successful businessman. Uh, the scripture says, seest thou a man diligent in his what? Seest thou a man what? In his business. Amen. Tell him about in his business. The first important thing to become a successful businessman is you have to first start a business. Amen. You have to what? You have to start a business. Tell anybody you need to start a business. Hallelujah. You can't become successful at something that is non-existent. So the first thing is what? Start what? Start it up. So in this scripture it says in his business. So the man has a business. You can't have something to be diligent on if there is nothing in the first place. So the man of God is writing, the prophet of God is writing, and he says, Seest thou, can you find a man who is diligent in his work or in his business? So you need to have a work. You need to what? You need to have a business. So the first thing is to start one. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell anybody, you need to start a business. To Say to yourself, I need to start a business. Start Say, at some point in my life, I have to start a business. Start a business. Amen. Amen. He says, he shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before men. men. We'll come back to that. But you first must what? Have what? Business. Must have a business. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two, you should start early. Start what? Early. Start early. Luke, the second chapter, the 49th verse. Appreciation to those who watch this video uh, later on and those who are maybe currently connected to us online. The Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Uh, these days we're having a lot of people join us from different parts of the world. Amen. And uh, we really appreciate that. Different countries and different places. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. We love you. Amen. Amen. 
why are we teaching this? Because it's one thing to be shouting hallelujah and, re- and jumping amen and, you know, um, you will prosper. Hallelujah. It's a year of prosperity. Hallelujah. Amen. But it's another thing to know that you have something to do about it. Hallelujah or amen. Let it be the name of your business. Amen. amen. Start a business. If you like, you want to name it hallelujah, it's okay. But just start a business and if you, if you love the shouting amen so much, call it amen. Well, start a business, anybody? Start a business. Start a business. Amen and songs. Amen. amen. Or hallelujah and amen. amen. International enterprise. Yes, it's okay. God will not be angry with you. But you must start one. Number two, you must start early. And he said unto them, how is it that he sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? Amen. If you cannot start a business, at least engage in your father's own. Praise the Lord. And this is at the point where I said, you know, number two is starting early. You have to start early. At this point in the life of Jesus, he was just about 12 years old. It is important that we be introduced to businesses early. Are you listening to this? Now, this is one of the places where many of us, our parents, missed it. They did everything to keep you away from business. But this is one thing which the Jews know, know better about. And Jesus is speaking here that from an early age, I am involved in my father's business actively. So much so he says, you shouldn't be looking for me. Don't be looking for me where kids are. Don't be looking for me where people are playing football. He says, the only place you should be looking for me is about my father's business. He's looking at them and he's saying, did you not know, wist ye not? That I was supposed to be about my father's business. Amen. At 12 years old. Praise the Lord. Why are we teaching these things? Firstly, to correct what already is. But also, so that tomorrow when you become parents or, you know, uh, fathers and mothers, you will not make the same mistakes. The word, of all, the word of God is given to us for instruction, for correction, for reproof, the Bible says, for instruction in the ways of righteousness, how we should live right. Praise the Lord. Amen. And he said unto them, how is it that he sought me, wisting not that I must be about my father's business at age 12? Tell anybody, you need to start early. early. Question usually arises, how early should I start a business? When? Around what age? When can I start? Praise the Lord. If all people started business as early as they started or got into relationships, a lot of them will be millionaires already. Am I talking to somebody? At 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 these days, the ice is already running here and there. This is the danger of idleness which we are coming to soon. The focus should be about increasing and multiplying wealth. And every tool at your disposal must be used. Praise the Lord. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Amen. So at age 12, Jesus was already well rooted in the business of his father. Imagine if at 12, some of you are doing businesses right now, and it's a challenge and it's a struggle because you're trying to learn how to use left hand in old age. Imagine if you started early. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is a good place to say, mercy, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This is why I love church and this is why I love God. It's the only place that helps you and the only person who can help you to stay sane. Hallelujah. Amen. So train up a child in the way he should go when he's old, he will not depart from it. The Lord is rerouting your life. Amen. The Lord is what? The Lord is what? Rerouting, rerouting your, your life.
Tap your neighbor, say, please don't be idle. Don't be idle. Say, don't join, don't join the crowd. Amen. I think some of the things I'm saying today, I may repeat them during the, the seminar. You know, but I have found out that every of the very successful people whom I know, business moguls and uh, magnates, millionaire magnates and billionaires, every of them started at a very early age. Some of them had owned and concluded deals, businesses, and some made their first sales at age nine. Can call names again and again. Just think of anybody. Amen. In the average, in the average community of, sorry to say, of the average and the poor, around that time, that's when they are trying to conquer the opposite sex. That's why I say you should say, mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Whereas one person's brain is going up and active and higher on how to, you know, become a, 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 an important, a magnet in his generation, another person is thinking of how to conquer the boy or girl in front of him. Lord. And they measure themselves by, have you had your first kiss? Oh. Is he a good kisser? Oh. And some people have become so good at kissing. But know nothing about business. Oh. Tap your neighbor, say repent. repent. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. We are where we are today because of the decisions we made yesterday. I'm not going to know somebody. The Lord is what? Rerouting your life. Say that confidently, the Lord, the Lord is rerouting, is rerouting my, life. my life. Say the Lord, the Lord is rewiring, is rewiring my, brain. my brain. The Lord, the Lord is setting aright my, my priorities. Start early. I've often said, every man you find in a place is there for a certain reason. There's something he or she is doing right, or there's something he or she is doing wrong. There's a reason why he is there. Hallelujah. Tell me, but I refuse to remain at this level. I'll change everything, including myself, to get a better result. Look at the focus of a 12-year-old. For some people, this is the time when the hormones begin to speak so loud. You say it's a teenager. They won't hear what in the house again. But not Jesus. Tell him, but not Jesus. He says, I'll be about my father's business. I'll be about my what? From a young age, I want to see the business prosper. Hallelujah. Amen. Imagine if from a young age, your desire and your passion, morning, afternoon, evening, night, is to see your business prosper. One of the wisest businessmen that ever lived, or that has ever lived of the last century, Warren Buffett, he said something, he said, he said, I always knew I was going to be rich, so I was never in a hurry to. I always knew I was going to be very rich, so I was never in a hurry to. And kept on doing the right things at the right time, and the results kept showing, and things kept multiplying. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell you, but I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Say, I'm, I'm, going I'm going somewhere. Say, God is on my case. On my case. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Number three, Mind your business. Tell neighbor, mind your business. Mind your business. First Thessalonians 4 from verse 1. First Thessalonians 4 from verse 11, sorry. You have to learn to mind your own business. Can we read together? If, do you have MSG? Message translation. Let's read this one while they are looking for a message. One, two, three, go. Is it this thing you are reading like this? You are not reading like business people. Is it this scripture you are reading like this? Read please for me. One, two, three, go. Stay calm. Mind your own business. Do your own job. You have heard all this so much before. What a reminder never hurts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We can stop service here. 
Hallelujah. I will not call up Pastor Gibson to conclude the service. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You can't mind a business you've not started. The reason you have a lot of people who are gossiping and talking and having time for nonsense is they don't have anything they are doing. When you have something doing, you don't have time for nonsense. Scriptures come alive. It's not a struggle to experience. It becomes a reality. So start your business, start your business. And, mind and mind it. Mind your own business. Morning to evening, you are talking about other people. Because you are jobless. And so you need a job. You have to create a job of talking. Gossip blog. At least they are getting paid. You gossip for free. Are you so jobless that you gossip for free? At least get paid. Make a career out of gossiping. So we know you are a professional gossiper. At least be diligent in your business. Or you have to first make it a business. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, now, he says, stay calm. Hallelujah. Amen. Mind your own business. Four of the best words that can save you trouble. Amen. 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 Tell me about mind. mind. Your, your own business. There are some nonsense you don't have time for if you're a busy person. Your time matters to you. So I, don't, I don't have time for that. Stay calm. Mind your own business. How do I mind my business? That's number three. Focus, give it full attention. Focus on it. Tell me about focus on it. How do I become a successful businessman? I must focus on my business. Oh, yeah. Tell me about focus on your business. The reason you are trying so hard to be like another person is because you are not paying any attention to your own self. Hello? The reason you are trying so much to be like another person is because you are not paying any attention to your own self. Hallelujah. Amen. You were playing football before. Now, you say you don't want to play football again. You want to play basketball. Why? Your friend is playing basketball and he's paying him. If you focus on your own football, it will pay you too. I'm going to somebody. Amen. Your friend is making money online. You say you want to make money online too. Nobody now is making money offline. Forgetting that there is offline also to make money. Hallelujah. Mind your own business. You leave your offline job and you want to go online. And you are there, you are still waiting. You are there, you are still waiting. You are there. You are there. You are there. 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 Tell me, mind your business. Mind your business. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mind your business. Focus on it. Give it full attention. I'm not sure why some of you are laughing. What is going on here? Hallelujah. Give it 
it with full attention. When you mind your business, you, 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 you learn to become better at it. If it's not working, there's a reason it's not working. I'm going to go to somebody. There's a reason it's not working. But you can never work on improving it if your eyes keep moving here and there. This is what they call the loss of the eyes. I'm going to go to somebody. The loss of the eyes. Your eyes here. Your eye is the your eye is the control your eyes. He said, if you be of single vision, you prosper. You will what? Prosper. You prosper. You need to stay focused on something. Tell them, mind your business. Mind. Hallelujah. Are you learning something? <laughs> Number four. Be quiet and calm. Be what? Amen. Amen. Grind in silence. Amen. 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 They say empty vessels make the loudest noise. You don't have to talk too much. Or show too much. Amen. Amen. Learn to be what? Learn to be calm. Jesus was a very quiet person. Jesus used silence and secrecy most of the time as one of his tools for the expansion of his kingdom. He did things, a lot of things in secret, which nobody said. And sometimes when he did things, miracles, he would tell the people even, be quiet. He said, don't tell anybody. And he was increasing. Tell anybody, grow, grow. In, silence. in silence. Prosper, Prosper. In, silence. in silence. Walk in silence. You don't have to announce yourself everywhere. Amen? Amen. When you are young and when you are young, you may shout. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me say this. Silence or quietness or being calm, like this scripture says, in the other um, translation, I think it says, uh, be quiet. It says, study to be quiet. Um, by the way, go there. Go there. I think I like it. Um, uh, King James. King James. Amen. I, I want to look at that. I want to look at that. I want to look at that. King James. First Thessalonians 4 verse 11. Whew. My God. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Are you seeing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. He says, and that he studied to be quiet. Quietness is not natural. You have to study it. It's a, it's a, it's a course. You learn to be quiet. Tap your neighbor and say, I know why you, know, you, you are not quiet normally. I know, I know your, why your mouth is always open. You have not taken this course. <laughs> My God. It's amazing the number of things you have to study. You know your mouth just be running. Pa, 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 pa. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sometimes you make enemies in the process. Not because we are afraid of the, of the enemies. No, 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 no. Don't misunderstand it. We are not afraid of the enemies, not even the devil. But this is a principle. Study to be quiet. Learn to be quiet. Tell anybody, learn to be quiet. Ah, yeah. You know what the scripture says? It says, be as what? Wise as who? Serpent. Wise as the serpent. Serpent comes slowly. And let me say this, why it is good to be quiet and to be calm. You, there is something uh, mysterious about a calm personality. You are less predictable. I'm not going to somebody. You are what? And when you are less predictable, you have a higher chance at hitting success. You're an underdog. Ooh. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Tap your neighbor and say, I'm an underdog. I'm an say, I'm coming from behind. I'm coming from, I'm coming from beneath. I'm coming from beneath. Amen. Praise the Lord. When you are young and out of love, and especially in Christianity, 
sometimes the reason why you allowed mouth is because of love. You know, that kind of moment you want to share with somebody what God is doing in your life. Amen. 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 But as you grow and as you get more mature, he says, study to be quiet. Amen. When you are light, you make a lot of noise. But as you begin to become heavy, you learn to be quiet. There be mighty seas and oceans that are, the currents underneath them can move entire buildings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But externally, when you look at them, they are quiet. Get inside, you will know. Amen. It's a study to be quiet. Tell anybody, I'm studying. I'm studying. I'm studying. I'm studying. Oh, ah. Hey, why have you not been talking too much, Jesus? Why am I not hearing from you? Why do you... So I'm studying. So I'm studying. What are you studying? I'm studying to be quiet. There are some things you will never learn until you are quiet. Ah, yeah. You know the Bible says even, you know, in the book of... of, of, of I, mean, I mean, in the Old Testament, he puts it like this. He says, I think it's in the book of Proverbs. He says, be still and know. There are things you will never know until you are still. Tell anybody, be still. Be quiet. Ah, yeah. Do you know that even God, some of the, the beauties of God is his secrecy. Ah! The Bible speaks of the most honorable parts of a person are his secret parts. They are highly esteemed. Want to be valuable? Amen. Grind in silence. Yes, sir. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, Are you listening or you've gone home? Yes, sir. You start the business. You do your best to start it early. You learn to mind it and be focused. As you are focused, be walking in silence. And God who sees what you do in silence, the Bible says, or in secret, shall reward in the open. He will make it public. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell anybody, I'm studying. I'm studying, I'm studying. I'm studying. to be quiet. I'm learning, I'm learning. to be quiet. be quiet. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Go back quickly. That verse is too sweet for us to MSG. MSG, message translation, it's too sweet for us to just um, let it pass. Amen. Do your own job. Hallelujah. Amen. Do your own job. You've heard, you've heard all this from us before, but a reminder never hurts. Is it the first time you're hearing to start a business? No. Is it the first time you're saying, mind, learning, hearing, uh, mind, mind your own business? No. But the man of God is saying, a reminder never hurts. Amen. Amen. Tap your neighbor and say, I just want to remind you. That you have a business to start. I just want to remind you to grind in silence. I just want to remind you to stay calm, to study, to be quiet. Say, don't talk too much. Hallelujah. Tap your neighbor, say, get busy. Get busy. Say, don't be, don't be idle. Say, get really busy. Get really busy. Get really busy. He, he doesn't call me. He doesn't write a message. He the whole day will just go. He will not say hi. He will not say hello. And you say, you say, you You are feeling it because you are idle. Yes, you are not busy. Yes. Idle people will never understand busy people. Yes, Tap your neighbor. Say, idle people, idle people will never understand people like me. Never like me. Amen. Amen. So I'm not saying you are idle. I'm just saying you people don't understand me.
Hallelujah. You are getting proud. Yeah, now no. Yeah, all your friends. You no longer have time for your friends. Yeah, you know, like yeah, 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 yeah. Nonsense. 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 Get busy. 